Ministries coming to you today with another video. I want to thank everyone who has been watching the um, message to singles video and who has um, been inspired in some way and subscribed to my channel. I praise God and I thank you guys for subscribing. But I just wanted to come and just uh, share this word. So uh, pray with me. Let's pray. Uh, our Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for the privilege to come into your presence in prayer. God, I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your light. And just being a, a God who's just constantly revealing your truth to us. I pray that you be with this word, that you'll be with me as I speak, and that it'll come out just the way you want it to, to be an edification to your children. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, so the word I wanted to share is just about God's faithfulness on telling us the truth. God is so faithful. He will tell us the truth. He will tell us the truth about everything around us. He'll tell us the truth about, you know, ourselves. He'll tell us the truth about that person you might be looking at or the person you might have a crush on. The Lord will tell us the truth. God, he's a revealer of all things. Scripture says that he's given us the Holy Spirit to show us things, to show us things to, to come, to reveal to us the truth. So when we come in Christ, we have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit in us is revealing the truth to us about everything. The thing is that sometimes we are not surrendered enough to God to believe it or to accept it or to receive it. Um, but the truth is always there. It's always there. God is faithful to tell us. The thing is, are we listening? Are we paying attention? Are we paying attention? You know, when if there's someone you're looking at, and this is, I think, a lot of people here who subscribe are interested in relationships. The thing is that um, if you're looking at someone and you think they might be someone for you and you start developing feelings for them but then God begins to show you the truth about them he begins to show you uh, did you hear the, the the tone of their voice when they responded to you did you hear that did you hear that impatience you know and it's like and then sometimes we brush it off and then the Lord would show us you know did you see that temper did you see that you know, or the Lord would show us, um, did you hear that thing he said? Did you hear him say that he didn't go to church for the past four weeks? Did you hear him say that? You know, and God is constantly showing these us these things because he doesn't want us to get into love blindly, to go into love blindly. He wants us to go into love seeing. He wants us to see. And when God is doing something, he will make sure we see. He will show us the truth. There will be nothing hidden. But the thing is that Jeremiah 17 verse 9 says, The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Sometimes our, our hearts are so wicked, we don't want to accept the truth. We don't want to accept the thing that God is telling us. Because our hearts want to want what we want more than the will of God. But the thing is that when we come into the will of God, when we learn to love the will of God, when God reveals these truths to us, it's going to be a joy. We, we're going to submit to it. When we were, we're submitted to God, when he begins to show us these truths, we're going to accept it for what it is and just move on. We're going to accept it for what it is. And if God is saying no, then we're going to receive it as no. If God is saying yes, we're going to receive it as, as yes. But we will not fight against God. We will be willing to see the truth. When God, because when God wants to, God wants to bring in someone into our lives that will be a blessing. You know, scripture says that the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow to it. He's not trying to bring someone in that's going to add sorrow to your life. Do you feel yourself like feeling down or feeling like doubt or lack of peace or concern in your heart because of someone? Like that's, that's when you have to question because the Lord 
wants to bring blessings into our lives. James says that the Father gives good gifts. All good and perfect gifts come from the light above. So when God brings in something, it's going to be a blessing into our lives. But sometimes, you know, we're so quick to settle. We're so quick to settle that even when we see these red flags, it's just like we're so willing to compromise just to be with somebody but it's not worth it it's not worth it um and the reason why i say all this uh, this always happens i talk a lot about the word and then i i get practical towards the end and bring it back to me um the reason why i say all this is because me when i've learned in my life to be real with myself I'm at a place in my life and in my heart where I am real I'm trying to be real because I'm not lying to myself I'm, I don't want to lie to myself I don't want to lie I'm trusting God with my whole heart for what he has for me so I don't need to lie I'm not desperate I'm not desperate that I want to lie about myself lie to myself about who someone is you know I'm willing to see someone for who they are. I'm willing to see what God is trying to show me because I'm waiting on God for what he wants for me. So I'm not fighting with God like, oh, I don't want to see that God. I just want to latch on to you and get married. I'm not there. Like, I really do want to see. And whatever God is showing me, I'm going to look and I'm going to see if this is for me because the devil will try to bring people in your life too. So making things practical on my end is that I think I've been in a place or in the past a uh, few months now where I'm just being real I'm being so real like what I do is that I pull up my notebook as you can see right this is my bible but <laughs> here's my little notebook I don't know if you can see the pages pull up my notebook here I love to journal and what I do ladies and gents is I take notes um I write down my first impressions it might seem like much but I love to do that. I pull out my notebook and when God shows me something about someone, I write down my first impressions. These are my first impressions. These are the things that I saw in this person before the feelings, before I could ever try to confuse myself. Because, you know, when your feelings get in it, you start feeling confused about, you know, the red flags that you clearly saw before you allowed yourself to like the person. So what I do is I pull my up and I and I tell myself the truth. This is what I saw. This guy suffering from pride. I see in him someone who plays games because the way he he turned around and it was just after I asked him a question it looked like he was trying to play games and he looked like someone who plays games. Like I am real with myself about what God shows me about someone. Like he looked like he's playing games. I'm not playing games, you know what I mean? And so I would write that down. And or I wouldn't write like he has a he has a temper by what he did this. Uh, he didn't come out to the evangelistic meeting and I love outreach. I invited him twice. He didn't come through. This is my impression about him that he's not really into I would write these things down because sometimes we could really get to a place when if a man is pursuing you, it's just like, man, he's really just the one pursuing me right now. I'm just going to give in. But then when I write, look back at my notes, it's like, yeah. I, I, I just tell myself the truth. Sometimes we, we're not willing to tell ourselves the truth. But when we love the will of God, and when we really want what he wants for us, what he wants for us, and when we trust him, I think we get to a place where we we are willing to tell ourselves the truth. I tell myself the truth. I'm tired of lying to myself. Don't let your heart lie to you. You know, like Jeremiah 17, 9 says, the heart is deceitful above all things. Don't let your heart lie to you. Desperately wicked. Don't let it. You know, God is trying to tell, receive what God is showing you. If God is showing you something about someone, receive it. Believe it. Pray on it. Ask for revelation from the Lord. Like, just do not let your heart lie to you because of desperation or really wanting to be with someone. Because God is constantly telling us the truth. We just have to get to the place 
where we want to be real with ourselves. We want to be honest with ourselves. We're not playing games. We want to hear God. We trust God enough to hear Him for what He's when He says yes. We trust God enough to hear Him for when He says no. We trust God enough to hear Him for the revelations about things in people's lives. Just we trust God enough to hear Him for all things. Just to hear Him for who our husband is, who's not, what what's good and what's bad. We just trust Him that we want to hear Him. And we're not blocking him because we're afraid that he's going to say no. Because if he says no, it's okay. Because we want to hear him and we trust him. So um, that's like the practicality for me right now. You know, I love I love my first impressions sheet. I have about nine first impression sheets in my journal. And uh, it's like first impression. This guy is this... And I'm always right. I'm always right. I'm telling you. I would see these things and then later on the manifestation comes out. And it's like, I was right. Why? Because God was right. God was telling me. God told me a long time ago. I wrote it down. I was not trying to lie to myself. I told myself the truth. And when I see these things manifest in the future, it's like, man, I was right. Thank God for his discernment because he was trying to show it to me and I saw it. I saw it coming. I saw it coming afar off. And I think that's a good thing for all of us to do and to practice by God's grace, you know. Um, yeah, because there's no point of lying to ourselves. Because guess what? It's going to be manifested when you're married. So might as well see it for what it is now while God is telling us. Because whatever God is telling you is the truth. If God is telling you no, if you get that check in your spirit and God is telling you wait, God is telling you mm mm, believe him. Because God does not lie. God does not lie. So believe the Lord. When he's showing you something about somebody, you spending time with God, you in your, in your word, you know, you're trusting God and he's showing you things believe him believe him because it will be manifested later on whether you choose to be with the person or not just believe god i could look at someone and be like man i could see him he looks a little mentally distorted you know <laughs> oh sorry i'm being real like, I was, but that's just the holy spirit talking to me they're like this guy looks like he can really break down and have some mental things because he's just really not like not composed in his thinking in a way he he kind of comes out but these things are all warning things that we should be willing to see in people and pray for them of course but to also know whether this is of god or not of god as well that's all i wanted to share there was one more verse i did prepare to say that i'll close off with it's proverbs 20 verse 5 it says counsel is in counsel in the heart of a man is like deep water but a man of understanding will draw it out you already know brother you already know sister the counsel in the heart of man is like deep water you know it it's deep water don't don't suppress the water don't lie to yourself just draw it out draw it out but a man of understanding will draw it out. Draw it out, brother. Draw it out, sister. Draw it out, sisters. Do not lie. That counsel is in you. You already know the truth. You know your heart is telling you. Your mind is telling you. Your spirit is telling you. Just draw it out. Believe God. Believe God. And listen to that counsel that he gives us from the Holy Spirit on the inside. That's all I wanted to say. I love you so much. And God bless you.